Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Soda Dungeon videos. So, just ending a bit of a run here on autopilot in my main game before going into today's look at playing the game manually in what I'm calling my campaign series. Basically, it's just me playing the game manually, controlling everything, chilling, having a good time, not being in any kind of rush. And before doing that, I just like scooping in here in my main game so that I make sure that I progress just a little bit here as well instead of just <clears throat> only focusing on my like other game. Because this game is going to be updated like crazy. Afro Ninja crushing it with updates coming for us. It's going to be pretty freaking amazing. So I don't want to be completely lost in January when we get the new stuff but <clears throat> at the same time I feel like I have little purpose in the end game and that is why I am very very happy about playing this campaign game here. The way things are looking is that we have soda junkies and nothing else. What I want to do is to unlock the conjurer and I do not want to unlock the Ruffian, the Conscript or the Fighter because I don't want them flooding my tavern. I only want the things here that I want to use. And even though the Conjurer isn't endgame cool, it is very cool for the starting game and that is where we are now. So I will be grabbing Conjurer, Healer, Thief, Knight. Nothing else for now because we don't need other units than that in Dimension 1. So we need 400 tavern reputation and we have 351. We need another 50 and we can get that by upgrading the decoration for 5000. We can also focus on grabbing tables. <clears throat> I mean we do need those as well. So I guess it really comes down to what kind of money we're going to be raking in once we do a few runs here. I feel mostly for grabbing the decoration, just scooping it in in a single purchase, but yeah, we'll take it as it comes really. Going to go with two heal stones. And what I hope to achieve in this video is to grab, if we can get more of this, <clears throat> more coral plates, it would be really cool because they have a huge impact on the health of our soda junkies. Obviously, shock shield also pretty cool. I am hoping that we are going to be looking at the holy armor, the angelic armor, the holy cannon, and the Kelvin within this video or the next. We should be getting them pretty soon. And once we can go with those, we are in for a pretty, pretty good time. Yes, we are. So, this one is just gonna get manually beaten like that dropping an item ambush pretty great because I can start by healing we probably need two rounds to defeat this one what I should have done was to attack with that guy and heal with the other but we did manage to get by it and go to the next round with full health she's gonna continue here <clears throat> attacking this year because I'm afraid it's gonna be poisoning me or infecting me I'm not sure if it has that option I'm going to go one round on this I think it has more health I'm not entirely sure okay we crit so I was hoping to heal up at the start of the next turn these mobs I know both of them have nasty infection options so um, just gonna go damage and that was exactly what I hoped that we wouldn't lose any of them so what I can do now is I can heal this one, I can attack, we can get down to having one mob and then we can heal the most injured one. <clears throat> okay, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Anyway, moving forward with a decent amount of health, this chick here deals 32 damage when she hits, making her <clears throat> pretty hard for us to deal with because she can one hit our characters so we need to heal up stay above the 30 something something and pretty much just hope she dies now she didn't <coughs> <clears throat> 
No more healing, but she dies, so we... Oh boy. Three mobs. So I can either choose to heal our poison, poison dude that has a heal stone, or try to deal damage to these. And I'm gonna try to deal damage to this one. It's smallest, so I hope it's gonna be... I know I have the fire stones, and that would have been like the smart call, but... I wanted to see how the damage played out first, expecting to have them all to survive the round anyway, and they did. We're probably gonna lose the lowest health one now. Yeah, we did. I have pretty consistently been able to reach level 48, and that's that's really where I'm pushing it to with, with this setup here. And I'm thinking if we get just a little bit more of an upgrade, then we can move even further. But right now, really the bad thing is that we only have one equipment slot, so I have to select between using the Firestone and the Heal Stone, and that is, that is what is costing us most of the victories that I cannot do. I cannot focus on area and on, on healing, and it really just cuts us short. So this time we're actually doing worse than what I normally do. But we did, we have raked in a few items already. So with a little bit of luck, we're gonna be getting an upgrade. That would be really cool. Hero Blood and Shock Shield. So we did get the Shock Shield, which is good. And I'm thinking since we kinda lost before I expected it, we're just gonna go with the tables. So we still need 24 reputation. Where can we get that? Do I really need to go 5,000 for that? I do. Well, that's how it is. We're gonna need 5,000 for that. What that means is that I'm going to go in now and try to see how these guys can do. If I run them from the start without using the teleport. I know it is not going to work in our favor in terms of getting better equipment, but we may be raking in enough money this way to really just to make it worth the time because most of these first round of mobs are just like one hit things, so it's pretty easy money. And I need 5,000 or well, 4,500 kinda now. And I would, I would really like to get that in this video. Looking back, buying the 2500 table thing was a bad idea. But, yeah, that's just really looking at it like super short term, because we're gonna need it all at some point, so it's okay. And I do prefer actually having tables, because it gives us a chance to have another character that we can hire in the tavern. So it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <clears throat> Battle axe, yeah. So, let's keep ganking. So moving above 20 health on level 11. And getting a few items. So as you can see, it's pretty easy here. Meaning that we can farm money. I mean, it's not hard farming the money. Uh, I guess the really interesting thing is to not just farm money, but get the good items at the same time. Um, obviously, I'm not really doing that here. I don't think any real replacement items can drop in this part of the dungeon. I think we need to reach like the level 50 area before we can do that. So splitting the damage here and then going with the fire stones, hoping it's going to be enough damage to take them out. Let's see. Oh yeah, good times. Ambushed, I hate that. Oh yeah, let's get double infection, shall we? Yeah, be like that. So I'm just gonna do the same here. And I know I could just heal up. I'm expecting one to survive. Then I can heal up in the next turn. No, nope, no survivors. That's okay. Oh, cute little dragon there. I don't see that often. Must be a rare one. 
Not sure if that means it has better loot. But it gives us an entire round here just to go heal up. So that is pretty much best case scenario. Full health for the next battle. Once again splitting up the damage. Going Firestone. We will take some damage and we can heal up. So we can heal up the ones that are poisoned and the one here that took damage and then we can just gank this one so pretty easy money <clears throat> 1 1.1 thousand already let's see if we can one turn this nope well then we can do the same again just heal up and it should die now great stuff magma shield yeah, we don't really need that. So let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here in level 21. So not really a huge health upgrade compared to the difference between level 9 and 11. That was a pretty massive change, but it's not here, so that's good. I went two attacks on the Phoenix thing, expecting it to die with two Firestones, leaving us with that one there to hit after a single heal so that was exactly as I hoped it would this is a pretty good ambush because there was nothing with infection or confusion or burning should once again be able to heal up one of them dying no two of them dying that was bad I'm not expecting this to be that bad because the level higher one deals 30 so that was pretty good. I'm just gonna split this out completely hoping that none of them will die and that we will have enough health to survive this and heal up and then finish them. So let's do that. So hopefully two of these are gonna die and we're just gonna have one injured just like that like a charm so let's get two on this because I think that one can actually go pyroblast and I would like it to die no that was not the plan I wanted to go firestone oh well I guess we're gonna be healing Attacking ones there and then one there. Okay, I think this one has a chance to do more damage like this. Uh, okay. Whoa. So, giving them a good chance to deal damage here. Oh, that was lucky. Not at all what I had in mind. <laughs> Oh, but pretty lucky nonetheless because we can fully heal and go double fire and stone. Great stuff. Very nice. So, what is the money saying? 1.9. Pretty cool. Two attacks there. Two attacks there. And a fire stone. And there we get the pyro. Great stuff. So we can heal up twice. Then we can gank. Let's go there and go double firestone. Well, not double, of course. We already used one. But like that. Pretty nice. Good times. I'm thinking this one is not going to die in one turn, probably going to go pyro. So I'm just going FaceTime on it and then we'll see where the damage lands on this one. Got to do a self heal on him because he had the burn. See if it survives, it does not. So good times. Treasure. Oh goody. 2.3k so going from 
level 1 to level 30 gives us about 2000 that's kind of nice to know I want to heal up here oh you're going pyro burning turtle that was rude but you're gonna die now that's what you get so I don't want more of that pyro stuff so I'm just focusing three attacks on that hoping that the firestone is gonna take it out leaving the rider thing without amount damage oh it also has pyro well happy times let's heal it up do a self heal and go FaceTime on this one, hoping it's gonna be enough damage to end it. Yes, it was. Very nice. So, gonna be full focus on the turtle. Okay, that was easy. Then we can completely heal up here with most of the characters, anyway. Yeah, I know it was just a single point, so it was silly like super silly I was not paying properly attention there I don't think he's gonna be able to do 33 points of damage so it's okay so do a heal up do a heal up just attack like that okay so definitely getting the pyro rider here I'm not sure if we can deal enough damage with these firestones any longer. Nope, we couldn't. Oh, that was uh, really the shield damage going back on him. Super cool. Just heal that one up. Go there. Like that. Okay, so not bad. 2.9 is what we're at. Uh, so part of me really wants to heal the burning one. I guess I really should because I could see a pyro on it again. So better go double firestone, single heal into face time. Boom. So heal up here. Attack. 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 And attack goody very nice so we get to heal once so let us do it on the main dude not sure why I'm calling him the main but like character number one okay so things are looking a bit more ugly now Let's try to get focus on one for now and then pull them apart one by one okay 12 health that's just too low so I'm not going healing because I'm expecting enough of them to be back for me to be able to heal up now so that was pretty lucky and you can die now goody paints oh boy okay let's go all in on this dude so this could be the end of it really <clears throat> really depends on how they gank oh that was good I'm going to try to focus on dealing damage instead of healing very nice so where to heal myself 27 Next up, 30, boom, no, bad, okie dokie, 3.5k, so closing in really, I probably should have healed the one with 24 health, yeah that was silly, I was actually expecting him to not deal that much damage, but he did. An item, nice. 
Well, this is okay. We are closing very much in on the 5,000. So I'm thinking things are just gonna go their way now without me healing too much. Okay. Guess I'm gonna be healing a little bit. Let's gamble. Treasure. Ooh, last shock shield. So we have a full set of those now. Very nice. I just really want to move into the level 50 plus area because I think the holy cannons and the angelic armor start spawning there. And it is like a huge difference game wise. Once you have those, it's just farm time like crazy. I mean, obviously, I want more than one, but they help so much. Okay. So she can actually take out most of what we have here. So that's bad. So she's probably gonna, no? Wow. Silly girl. Boom. Okay, well she got one. Still very nice, let's try, warp. Please put me past 50. 53. Awesome. So we can start here the next time. Not even gonna focus on doing anything here. Okay. I was expecting them to take out that one, but they didn't. So that was good. Let's see if I get to actually get a single item out of this. That would be crazy. No, no item. But now we can start out next time at level 51 with the chance. Yeah, I only, I've only really seen one item that's only bad, but so a lot of items this time, nothing really that <clears throat> we needed. We got the one additional shock shield, but now we're going in to level 50 and we are going with this setup here. Full shock shields. We didn't get any additional armor, that was what I hoped the most. But. Yeah, like that. Why? Is it because we didn't beat the boss? No! Oh, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Oh well, I know the drill. And we are so close to having enough money to buy the last table allowing us to go with a conjurer completely changing the game very nice boom oh yes So let's see, attack, heal, and double attack here. So these are pretty annoying because they can both infect. So healing that one. Healing that one, <laughs> healing that one, and then going Firestone and Slam. And now you can die. Great stuff. Just in case, you know, just in case. Healing that one up. <clears throat> I have seen 9 damage being dealt with the flame sword, so I'm just doing the 10 with the firestone because I know it's more. Yeah, let's just attack. You can die now. <clears throat> that was rude. Goody, 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 goody. So, better heal up this one. Thinking, let's focus on these. 
Firestones. Oh, yes. That was good. That was really good. So heal up there. And once again, take out that. <clears throat> and that. So only 18. Oh, come on. So close. Got an item drop. That was cool. just need that little bit of luck <laughs> yeah and then I get this stuff here I said luck you know what I'm just gonna exit the dungeon the cool thing is we're using soda junkies oh we got another staff that was cool so we don't really need to worry about the pricing we are on a free ride here so heels down heels down heels down like that just need 300 and a little spinning money so like 500 for the very first apprentice run so heal and hit great I love that it has sunglasses on it's so cool that was a nice crit once again, heal up and then it can die. Let's go for... No. Typical. I was just hoping for a portal, really. Trying to move into the 50 area. We will get there. So, you can die now. Still heal that one up, and attack, and attack, and it will survive. No, it didn't survive. Oh, and now we're up against the silly lady here. At least that one isn't burning, so I can pretty safely just attack her and then focus the healing on where it hurts the most. Being here, double heal there. Let's put this one a bit more on the top of things as well. Ouch. Of course she hits the one that's burning. It's just so typical. Oh, we're gonna... And now we get the fountain. Well, thank you. 5.1k, putting us in the good spot. Having enough to go get the Conjura now. Just need a little bit of burning money so that we can actually hire one and so that we can port. So heal up there. Heal up there. And attack. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can self-heal. I don't care. Boom. Very, very nice. Oh, I like this. So, in tomorrow's video, it is gonna be... Conjurer time for the first time. I'm looking very much forward to that gonna go for the small one here just hoping to be able to take out that one mob not expecting to win this battle just going all in hoping to see an item drop which of course I didn't makes sense at least they were completely stupid oh come on right die already Yes, please. We got an item. Very nice. So let's see if we got something of interest. Another coral plate and another apprentice staff. Very, very cool. So that is going to allow us to go silly paint. So let's just go into the tavern and grab the last of the tables. Like so. And once we jump into this tomorrow, I will be able to play with the conjurer. Pretty awesome stuff. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.